The transform SOP applies the correct transformations to all incoming attributes. We have some geometry, test geometry, Tommy, and we can see that it contains surface normals, N, position, rest, which is a copy of the position, and velocity. So the normals and the velocities are two different types of directional normals. The one is a surface normal, the one is a directional normal. The transform SOP will manage all of those correctly. So if I take a look at all the various different types using visualizers, we can see here that we have the velocities, the surface normals, and the color geometry on there as well. When we apply the transform, in this case we're going to do a rotate, and also do a transform, and a scale. We can see that the normals are all updated correctly. This is handled by this part here where it says attribute set to star. If we set this to blank, we will actually get no attributes applied whatsoever, including transforms because P, position, is an attribute that needs to be managed as well. So if we type in capital P for position, we can now see that we pro the transform swap will properly update the position attribute. We have a list of all the incoming attributes here as well. We can add manually the normal, and now we can, we can add the normals, and now we can see here that the normal attributes are being updated correctly. But if we zoom in very closely, you can see that the velocity vectors are not handled very well. You can see the velocity vectors are turning and spinning and not handling well. So we can go back to the transform and add all of them as well, or simply use the wildcard. If we wish to transform everything but the normals, we can use the up arrow or caret to, see, to, to eliminate or to remove one of the variables. In other words, we can remove the transform of the surface normals. And now you can see the surface normals are not being updated as well. The transform SOP is also used to control how the normals are calculated or not. Here we have some incoming geometry that has been sculpted and groomed. Because we're dealing with normals, let's go to constant shading. And here we can see we've groomed the normals nicely. In this particular scenario, we have a line that's copied to some scattered points, and you can see how those surface normals are used to orient our lines. Going back to the normals, middle mouse, we can see we have um, the attribute normal on our geometry, nicely combed and sculpted. Let's apply transform SOP and see what happens. The default behavior for the transform SOP is when we apply transform is to not recompute the normals. You might find some files that actually have this set to on. So as soon as you move, you can see immediately the normals now are all recomputed for you, destroying the incoming normals. Definitely a gotcha you have to be careful for, to watch out. The default option though is to recompute affected normals. And what this means is if I go in here prior to the transform, or in the transform, I'm gonna select a partial selection here. And, and now I'm gonna hit enter. And now that gives me, and if I hit enter again, I get the transform handle. Now I can move that selection up and you can see that selection now recomputes the normals as well. Turning this off, you can see that the normals now keep their groom. A third option of the transform SOP is to preserve normal length. With that on, as we move that selection, the normal length will be preserved. If we turn that off, the normals can now vary in length. 